In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate three things, the average kinetic energy, the transitional kinetic energy, and the root mean square. I have two questions prepared, question one and question two, and we'll start with question one, which asks, two moles of helium are in a tank at 25 degrees Celsius. Find A, the average kinetic energy, and then we'll work on B and C later. So to find the average kinetic energy, I have these formulas prepared for you. The average kinetic energy of a molecule can be found by taking 3 over 2 multiplied to K, which is the Boltzmann constant, and that's provided underneath, times the temperature represented by capital T. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, we need to make sure that this T is in Kelvin, because the units here are joules per Kelvin. We'll take 25 degrees Celsius and add to that 273.15. If we add 25 to 273, we end up with 298. And notice that I'm ignoring the two numbers after the decimal place. That's because we are considering significant figures. So 298 is the temperature. And according to this formula, to find out the average kinetic energy, we will take a factor of 3 over 2, multiplied to Boltzmann constant, which is 1.4 times 10 to the power of negative 23 joules per Kelvin, and subsequently we multiply that to 298 Kelvin. Notice that our final units will be in joules, which is what is expected since we're calculating energy. Let's use our calculator. 3 over 2 times 1.4 times 10 to the power of negative 23 multiplied to 298. The final answer is 6.258 times 10 to the power of negative 21, and we'll round that to three significant figures, so 6.26. 6 decimal 26 times 10 to the power of negative 21 joules. Moving on to B, to find the total transitional kinetic energy, we will take this value and multiply it by the number of molecules. To calculate the number of molecules, we've been told that we have two moles of helium. And we'll multiply that to Avogadro's number, where we have 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules per one mole. Notice how the units cancel out. Technically, by taking this value and multiplying it by 2 times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23, we get the total transitional kinetic energy. Let's go ahead and do that. So this value, average, multiply to 2 times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecules. If you do that correctly, you should get a value of 7,537. Rounding that to three significant figures, that's 7.53 times 10 to the power of 3. And finally for C, the root mean square or RMS speed of the atoms. The root mean square is calculated using the square root of three times R times T over M. That capital M stands for the molar mass, and in this case, it's the molar mass of helium. If you take a look at a periodic table as shown on your screen, the molar mass is roughly 4.0 grams per mole, except we need to make it into kilograms per mole because the gas constant has joules, and joules, if you break it down into its units, it's kilograms times meters squared per second squared. So that needs to be made into kilograms per mole when we do the calculation. Here it goes. So the square root of three times the gas constant, joules per mole times Kelvin, times the temperature, which was at 25, and that's 298 Kelvin. The units cancel out, or start to cancel out immediately, over the molar mass of helium being 4.0 grams per mole, and that needs to be made into kilograms. So we will divide that by 1,000. I put the conversion ratio right into the calculation, but you can do it on the side next time. All right, using our calculator, we have the square root of, in the numerator position, 3 times 8.3145 times 298, and in the denominator position, 
0 0.004. That's the equivalent of grams to kilograms in this case. We'll round that to 1.36 times 10 to the power of 3 meters per second. In question number two, we're asked, isotopes of uranium are sometimes separated by gaseous diffusion. The lighter isotope having a higher speed diffuses more rapidly than the heavier isotope. What is the ratio of the root mean square speeds of uranium-235 and uranium-238? Now, I'm not going to show you how to do the complete calculation, but I will tell you what to do. They want the ratio, the root mean squared, speed for this one, that isotope, compared to the root mean squared of the other isotope. What you have to do here is find the root mean squared of both of them. And we'll use this formula where M represents the mass number. This little M this time, not this capital M. So M represents the mass number and that's the number of neutrons and protons. Using this formula, you'll calculate it for uranium-235 and divide it by, again, the same calculation but for M being 238. Because these three factors, 3, K, and T, are going to be the same in both calculations. You can make them into 1. So you would have 1 over 235 divided by the square root of 1 over 238. Eventually, that reduces down to the square root of 238 over the square root of 235. Calculating this should give you the ratio of the root mean squares for both of these isotopes. And there you have it. Now you know how to calculate the average kinetic energy, total transitional kinetic energy, and the root mean squared of atoms. Thanks for watching.